Good day. We are the researchers from BSN 3G Group 2A here to discuss our research study entitled Factors of Burnout and Simulated Clinical Exposure Among Student Nurses. I am Melissa Nicole Fortaleza, and today joining me are my co-researchers Hasafa Mayumi Garcia, Catherine Nora Henson, and Sarah Gail Gipanago. We believe that this study provides substantial data regarding prominent factors of burnout which are vital in determining educational modification for the betterment of the nursing practice. This study aimed to determine the factors of burnout and simulated clinical exposure among student nurses and to answer the following questions. First, what was the demographic data of level three student nurses in terms of sex, section, type of community, and connectivity status? Second, what were the factors of burnout among level three student nurses as a whole and in terms of physical factors, emotional factors, financial factors, and mental factors. Third, was there a significant difference in the factors of burnout among level three student nurses during simulated clinical exposure when they were grouped according to sex, section, type of community, and connectivity status? The researchers also have hypothesized that there is no significant difference in the incidence of burnout among level three student nurses during online clinical exposure when they are grouped according to age, sex, type of community, and connectivity status. Research design. The study was based on a quantitative type of research using a purely descriptive approach. The researchers utilize descriptive quantitative design so that there is a deeper understanding about the topic and survey methods in determining the prominent factors of burnout among student nurses in simulated clinical exposure. Research instrument. A modified standardized questionnaire was created by the researchers who took an idea from the Oldenburg inventory. The first part of the questionnaire included the demographic profile of the participants such as sex, section, type of community, and connectivity status. The second part were the four factors of burnout such as physical, mental, financial, and emotional. Good and sketch criteria was utilized to validate the research survey questionnaire. Participants of the study Level 3 student nurses were selected from a population size of 274 student nurses. The 161 sample size was computed using the Rossoff calculator. After the participants were stratified according to section, simple sampling was employed to randomly select participants from each section by the utilization of the Wheel of Names online application. For results and discussion, the majority of participants were females with 72% and contrary to males with only 28%, followed by their sections 3A and 3C were only 14%, 3B, 3D, 3E, and 3F got 14.3%, and 3G was only 13%. On the type of community, the majority of the participants show that 80.7% live in the urban type of community. For their connectivity status, 26.7% of nursing students were, were with stable internet connectivity, with laptop or desktop. 62.7% were with limited internet connectivity with laptop or desktop, and 10.6% were with limited connectivity with mobile phones and gadgets. Factors of burnout among level 3 nursing students through physical, emotional, financial, mental factors, and burnout. Physical factor indicates a total of M equals 2.53 and SD of 0.6, which signifies a low interpretation of burnout. Emotional factors depicts a total of M equals 2.69 and SD of 0.70, denoting moderate interpretation. A total of M equals 2.69. 55 and SD of 0.76 reveal a low interpretation for financial factor. A total of M equals 2.70 and SD equals 0.69 signifies a moderate interpretation of burnout for mental factor among nursing students. The factors of burnout among level 3 nursing students in simulated clinical exposure signifies a moderate interpretation with the M equals 2.62 and SD of 0.51. 
There was no significant difference between the two groups, sex, and tribal community. On the other hand, independent variables, one-way ANOVA, reveals no significant difference between the section and connectivity status in the dependent sample. The incidence of burnout among level 3 nursing students during online clinical exposure. So for conclusion of the results and discussions, level three nursing students report a low interpretation of burnout for physical and financial factors. Both emotional and mental factors were interpreted as moderate. There was no significant relationship between the participants' social demographic profiles regarding sex, section, type of community, and connectivity status. Recommendation. Based on the findings and conclusion of this study, the following recommendation can be addressed to the involved sectors. College of Nursing Administrators. The result of the study suggested that initiatives should look to strengthen student self-efficacy, control, and support. They should focus on the personal needs of the students and offer an orientation program before the students begin nursing courses to reduce the sources of stress. Nursing educators. This study suggested that clinical instructors in online clinical simulation may determine the number of tests to be given, focusing on the essential outputs to be submitted so that students may comply without experiencing burnout. Also, validating students learning verbally with their outputs during simulated clinical exposure will help students feel valued. Parents, this study recommended that parents assist their children and provide appropriate advices and motivation to reduce stress, manage appropriately, and avoid burnout during simulated online learning. Nursing students, this study suggested the need for adaptive and effective life-changing approaches among student nurses, considering the requirements needed during the simulated clinical exposure. And for the future researchers, these findings provided information and data that serves as a basis that will contribute to the related literature in future research. Conclusion the results showed level 3 nursing students reported a low interpretation of burnout for physical and financial factors and a moderate interpretation of emotional and mental factors. Therefore, the factors of burnout among level 3 nursing students in simulated clinical exposure signify a moderate interpretation with an overall result of there is no significant relationship between the participants' social demographic profiles regarding sex, section, type of community, and connectivity status. Thus, it is crucial to understand how burnout factors can affect students' performance and how they can affect students' ability to continue studying nursing. Thank you and God bless.